On the table, Lego minifigures, series 17. Let's get right to it. Believe it or not, this is random, and we have pulled the mystery mystery figure, the Highwayman. And this would be the code I discovered on the back of the package. The Highwayman looking rather tough, yet dignified. A doily collar always makes one look tough, but with the mask and muskets, makes me want to give my wallet to him. Thanks for stopping by, Highwayman. Uh -huh. It's Corn Suit Guy, probably one of the favorites of Series 17. Here would be the code that I found for this one. Corn Suit Guy, just a basic Lego minifigure in a green suit with a giant corn costume going on. It almost appears that the Corn Suit Guy is screaming, but really, it's a pretty big mustache. Whoa, what is this? Highway Man just robbed the Corn Suit Guy of his Corn Suit! I'm sorry, Corn Suit Guy. That's quite the bummer. Moving on, hopefully no more disruptions. It's Rocket Boy, another favorite from Series 17. Rocket Boy features a little kid with a dress of a rocket on top, classic spacesuit logo, and a drawn flag. This one's ultra cute, and I'd sure like to see a fleet of future rocket designs. Here is the code I discovered for this pack. Oh no, what's this? Oh, not you too, Corn Suit Guy! And Corn Suit Guy rockets away! Stop him! Someone stop him! Oh, that is a hard lesson today, Rocket Boy. I'm sorry. Going forward, and please no more confrontations. It's a circus strongman, lifting 100, 200 pounds, I believe. The pack that I found this guy in got a little roughed up, so I'm not sure if that's the exact code. I like how bright this guy stands out. That leopard print unitard is quite the style. Let's see a few more reps, strong man. Oh no, I think he hurt his back. Oh look, Rocket Boy is here to help him. No, wait a second. Rocket Boy has stolen his mustache for some reason. Maybe wanting to look older. Yeah, you probably should get that back looked at, strong man. Another bag to look at? Hopefully, I could promise no more antics. It's an elf girl in a beautiful formal gown. Elf girl has a golden sword and a shield with pretty design on it. Pretty hair with silver clip in the back. She will go nicely with the other elf figures. The code that I found with the elf girl Oh no, there goes the last bit of credibility I had. Oh no, and Highwayman has just robbed the elf girl, stealing her sword and shield and cutting her in half. Luckily, she has used her elven healing abilities and seemed to have retrieved one of Highwayman's forgotten pistols. How careless of him. If we could only be serious for just a minute. This must be a hot dog concessions guy. That's a fun character. Love the checkered apron. The Lego man seems to be selling a hot dog and maybe a frosty shake, and it is balancing just so on that tray. Here was the code I found for hot dog guy. I like this one. Oh, Rocket Boy just thiefed the shake. Elf girl. Does anybody have any ethics today, please? I'm just... I'm just going to open up another bag. I suppose this is a 80s guy. Uh, yuppie, I suppose. Nice Miami Vice suit with pink shirt with large cell phone. 
This is usually the one you end up with 20 of when you grab just a whole bunch of random bags. Oh look, it's Strongman! I think he's asking for the 80s man to call someone to help his back. Oh good, he's calling for help. No wait, it looks like he was just ordering a chilled frappuccino. Oh, poor Strongman. Is anyone gonna help him? Let's keep going. Here's a fun one, a gourmet chef. Looks like she has made a yummy strawberry pie. I like the little mixer accessory in her other hand. It's been a while since we've seen a chef. Have we seen a chef before? I'm starting to forget. That's a great figure. Oh no, not this guy again. Oh, finally some payback for Highwayman. Good work, gourmet chef. Oh, and the code I found for the chef. Moving on with positive thoughts. And Richard Simmons has come out of hiding the dance instructor. Wow, if you thought the strong man's leotard was ridiculous, check this thing out. Zebra print, purple lightning bolt, blue tall socks, and blue head and armbands. This minifigure is quite active. Also with that nice little H2O bottle. Ah, oh, look at there. Looks like 80s man is looking for a date for Friday night. Oh, no. Looks like he just wanted her mineral water. But she doesn't seem to care and keeps dancing. And the madness continues. Continuing. And we're looking at a professional surfer. Kind of like earlier series of minifigures. It's been a while since we've seen a surfer. Great shark board with this guy. Lego corporate must be right next to some big waves. They're always into the surfers. A good head of bleached hair on the dude, red suit. And as always, these surfboard figures are extra fun as you can surf them around a little bit. The code I found for this figure. Whoa! That is quite a dance, dance instructor. You alright, professional server? Hmm, I guess not. One would think we're getting near the end. We're not. It's the veterinarian with that oh-so-cute rabbit. The veterinarian has blue gloves and Jennifer Aniston's hair. I like the detail they placed on this figure with the card over on her pants and the stethoscope. Lego is really quite clever with their design team. And the vet's code. And it looks like Strongman is finally coming over for some help. She may be a veterinarian but I'm sure her skills in the health-related field will help out the poor circus performer. And she gets right to work. I think the procedure's over. Oh goodness, she did not. She seems to have grafted the rabbit onto his back. That's horrible. What kind of veterinarian is this? She's twisted. And now she's laughing about it. You have taken quite a beating this review. However, you seem to be jumping more than usual. So perhaps this was a good thing. I'm gonna need my own back surgery if these bags never run out. Hey, battle dwarf. Seems like we've seen a few of these guys before. I like how this one has a little bit of uh, something on that hammer. Looks like a pig or razorback of sorts. Axe. This guy's heavily uh, decorified on the belt and some tattoos on the arm. Very red mohawk and beard. Fun figure. This bag was heavily marked up. That's the best I could do on the code that I found. I really don't want to know what kind of trouble this guy's gonna get into. 
Please, little guy, no trouble. I wonder where he's going. Huh. Turns out he just needed some modern amenities. The last four bags. Retro Spaceman, a minifigure I was looking forward to seeing. So classic. I would love to see a whole Lego construction collection based off the Retro Spaceman. That could be a lot of fun. Great looking ray gun, awesome helmet, yellow cape. This figure is too much fun. Here's the code I found. Pretty sure one of my favorites from Series 17. Oh, corn suit man with the stolen rocket. Why'd you have to do that? Let's just keep going. Oh, anyone seen Declan Harp? Actually, this is a Roman gladiator, not Aquaman. The trident being one of the better weapons to use. Ask Weatherman Brick. This is one tough looking minifigure. Looks like someone Slave Leia from Return of the Jedi would hang out with. The coat on this bag is also kind of messed up. Huh, looks like the chef is interested in using that fork in her kitchen. Not a mime, it's a Parisian connoisseur with some bread and a cute little bulldog pup. Kind of a weird combo. Also one of those figures you get a whole bunch of when you just grab a bunch of blind bags. I could always use that bread for Minecraft. Hey, what's the vet doing? She's got the dog! She's got the dog! Oh, and she grafted it onto the back of the injured surfer. She is evil. Oh, and the code for the Parisian. Whew, exhausting. We have reached the final bag. And we finish off series 17 with a butterfly girl. I think we've seen some sort of butterfly pixie girl before, but this one's pretty cute. Pink flowers, pink wings, pink pants, butterfly on the shirt, cool hair, flowers there. Fun little minifigure. Feels like there were several shorties in this minifigure series. Very cute. And the code I found for butterfly girl. Good luck on your hunting. Who knows what you're gonna find. And of course, just like how things have started, Highwayman has just thiefed her flowers. She doesn't seem very happy about it. And she caught up with Highwayman. Oh no, oh no, don't do it, don't do it, Butterfly Girl. Oh, Highwayman was impaled. And it looks like the vet is going to graft a squirrel onto his back. Lego Minifigures Series 17, quite the doozy, appears on store shelves May 1st, 2017, running about $4 per figure. Another fantastic assortment of minifigures, with the highlights Rocket Boy and Corn Suit Guy and Retro Spaceman. I think there's something for everybody in this collection. Just be careful of that veterinarian. She might graft something onto your back. That's what I have to say about that. I'm going to have 17 nightmares this week. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe.